Welcome to Los Scandalous Shake and Bake Arena, home of the Los Scandalous Vault and Dam. Wait, what? Both teams share the same arena? Uh, yeah, except when they're playing each other, and then I don't know who the home team is, really. Ah, uh, now I'm confused, Grim. And this is going to be a bloody game. The teams are loading their weapons and sharpening their spikes. The Nuke London Hatriots take on the Los Scandalous Vaults. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. I'm a house camel and silo. I own a hell of a silo. Yeah, It's game day here on the MFL Network, and we are just about to get underway. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow, along with Brickhead Mulligan. Hi. Any thoughts on today's game? Uh, uh, hmm. uh, uh, no, not really. Kind of flatlining right now in the thoughts department. Uh, hey, can you help me get this pencil out of my ear? It's stuck worse than it was the last time. Hey, you idiot. And it's first and ten. Defender cut off that pass like a suburban mom on the. Oh, don't it. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. Oh, I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. <laughs> and it's first and ten. He just got crushed. That'll be second and eight to go. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot tight. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See if oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more! And it's first and ten. Three-yard catch on the play. Every little bit counts. Those three-yarded? Ref that just called that penalty? He was convicted of marrying old ladies and stealing their savings. That sounds like a good job. He's right at home here, taking money from coaches, players, and fans. I even saw him swiping money from the bathroom attendant. Second down, the size of Brick's wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Third and four. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It's good. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Oh, nice hit. First and ten. And that's some good old-fashioned downhill running as he picks up nine yards on the play. And that'll bring up second and one. Now. 
Third down and nine. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. He boomed that one. Let's see if they the return man catch it. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. today folks these teams have bad blood between them apparently they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck raccoon rabies blood is my thought always a player's favorite and it's first and ten one time when i was playing a guy hit me so hard I and that's a hell of a cheap shot <laughs> gotta love it Second down and ten. And that is caught for a first down. And it's first and ten. That's a killer. It was right there and then he dropped it. Ah. Oh. Scumbag is killing me in fantasy league. Second down and ten. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. That's a little bit of change. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. A sack. Speaking of sacks, has anybody seen my powder? I'm itching like crazy over here. Second down and nine. Oh, with a punishing hit. down and five. Oh man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. Is he at the deli? Who's next? Well, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with the uh, no master? The offense is down to their last running back. No rest for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. Now there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They just be called sinners then. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Oh, and that's what it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice grin. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> and they sank the line and he gets 
makes his bell run for a yard. Second down and nine. in his path. Damn! This guy just loves to hit people as hard as he can, Brim. I don't even think he knows what a first down is. And it's first and ten. Pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing. Boom, and he's dead. Ah, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. Hey, uh, Bricks, check the rule book. Is that a penalty? Why would I have the rule book? Oh, for fuck's sake. and goal. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Oh, I love this dirty trick. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should get his own to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can say that, Grim. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. And it's first and ten. Sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him. Not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very angry. That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And there's still time to get a beer. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his sleeties this morning. Boom to the moon! Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. Now the defense called a time warp dirty trick, negating that play completely. The offense is pissed. Well, I wish I had that trick in the elevator with me earlier. I let one rip. I made a really good one, Grim. And then the doors open and the team's cheerleaders get on. Oh, oh. That's what small talk is really put to the test. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Trying to fuck a grease football. Oh, good run. He nearly broke it open, Bricks. Yeah, and I nearly blew three times the legal limit last night leaving the stadium. And I nearly did not get arrested, get thrown face first into a paddy wagon, get taken for a rough ride. And I nearly did not have prison sex in lockup last night. Nearly ain't a good thing, Grim. Trust me. He says, I'm taking you with me. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. Oh, man. Bricks, you got to love a player who goes down fighting. Oh, that was a close one. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. 
The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing-only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Finn? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! And it's first and ten. And that's another turnover for the defense. Holy mother of mutant mayhem, he scored! mistakes here or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room the kick is good as expected those are pretty much just gimmies let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty whichever that my friends was an all pro NFL hit And it's first and ten. And that's a sack. The quarterback has to get rid of the ball there. Second down and long. Rolling thunder and pouring pain. It's a zap attack. And that hit jars the ball loose, and it's a fumble. That's what happens when you hurdle and take a hard hit. He's at the 10. Touchdown! And he rips off a game-breaking run for the score. Say what? Come on, man. You can't hate with me. You get my grill, I'm going to ruin your world. You understand me? Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It's good. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. First and ten. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? Second down in a lot. Oh, no, it's a sticky ball, dirty trick. The defense pretty much turned the ball into a yo-yo of doom. Did you ever think you'd say that, Grim? A yo-yo of doom? No, my friend. I didn't. I love this job. Third down and, well, good luck.
They don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he put all of his foot into that one. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Well, there's a quick change of careers. Just went from football jock to shock jock in a hurry. There's a bloody red head on the field. Now that's their red penalty marker, Bricks. Looks like this one's coming back. And it's first and ten. First down and seven. Oh, he fumbled that one. Everyone loves being on the highlight reel, leaping over a defender, but sometimes you get hit hard and have the ball knocked loose. Second down and five. today <laughs> he was right Kapow. third down and five and the defense gets another pick and he's off to the races First and ten. This guy's a brick should have. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. for a nine-yard completion. They are moving the ball now with authority. Under two minutes, a timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. And that'll bring up second and one. And I've had it. I'm running out of excuse. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. First and ten. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Well, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. Oh, what the brutal hit! First and ten.
Second down and more than the QB would like. for a first down to keep the drive. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Ravy blood is my thought. Oh, it's a player's favorite. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. And that's the last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop the clock, Grim? I mean, when it comes right down to it, are we not all united by the constant reminder of our own mortality? Of death's constant, relentless advance? If only it was as easy as telling them. Well, surprise me. He made it look easy, and he gets three points for it. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And it's first and ten. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. He scores! Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stop burrito from Taco Hell. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the Halftime Show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. The teams line up for the kickoff to start the second half. These guys will have to play a lot harder to make it a game. Yeah, well, either that or kill and yeah. cheat more. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. Well, that play didn't work. They'll have to rethink that. Third down and long. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. It's a time warp dirty trick. The last play is a race. How did they do that? Did they go 88 miles per hour? Just ask. And like Bricks' bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way.
offense, and they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. Third down and forever. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, what a... That one's incomplete. The receiver couldn't get there. And neither could his mother. Second down and ten. Well, the week the quarterback said they'd blow up the defense today. <laughs> he was right. Okay, now back him. Get him on. Get him on. Get him on. Get him Third down and ten. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Uh, I don't think you can say that to him. First and ten. Oh, and he just turned ginormous. Look out! Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. Third and one. And the back gets in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. Well, this kick is no guarantee. Sure it is. If he misses, he's fired. Guaranteed. It's good. If you don't kill this ref with the attack ref dirty trick, you're going to lose, pal. jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Yeah. 
And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. They just let that one drop and play it safe, and the defense says we'll take it. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. Third down and the offense needs a miracle. turn after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And like bricks his bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way! First and ten. Defense gives up five yards on that pass play. Second down and five. takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross pitching, unbelievable. And he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you. And the defense downs it. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. And this guy looks like Thor on a revenge bender right now. There's no reason to drop the ball if you're still alive. And that'll bring up third down and seven. First and ten. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Where? The offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only.
only two left. He might consider running the ball more. And it's first and ten. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. And then Newton just about met his maker on that hit. I thought he was made in China. I don't see any Chinese guys down there. You're a fucking moron. And it's first and ten. the way to get the sticks moving he picks up five on that play second down and five quarter three comes to an end but this game is far from over and will be decided in the final quarter Second down and five. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I gotta uh, <clears throat> Hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. Third and four. Leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutiny. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. The offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. First and ten. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his bleeding. Oh, man, he just crushed him. <laughs> I got to see that again. I had a kid once like that walking down the sidewalk, texting with his earbuds in. Freaked him out. He said, hey, what'd you do that for? I said, I teach you a lesson. What lesson, he said? That unless you're a baboon with big baboon balls, you got to pay attention. Yeah, along the jungle, you know? And with a burst of speed, he finds an opening and the first down. And it's first and ten. and says, who's next? Man, he shoveled his feet so well on that play. He should... Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. And it's first and ten. He could go all the way. The 30. Here comes the defense. The 10. Touchdown! And he rumbles that one into the end zone. Nicely done. I can't run like that unless it's coupon night at Taco Hell. He has better footwork though than me on account of not clenching and kicks though. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a... Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? Second down and...
count in. And another interception. Oh, man, he really wants it. And he's off to the races. Touchdown! Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Mm. It's good. <laughs> the home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. <laughs> Boom, dead and dead. He delivered the freaky fast ham a sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, I'm still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. If you don't hear it coming, he'll knock you right on your first down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. The defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick. The quarterback can't dump it. And now they're going to dump his ass. Oh, holy smokes. He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. <laughs> Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. His cleats are caked in blood and guts and he's looking to score. And that'll bring up third down and seven. He is fighting for every yard. It's a touchdown! changing the station but for the sake of your eternal soul i'd understand if you want to cut away during this ritualistic dance uh, Rim, the uh, the crowd started chanting why uh, yes uh, <laughs> yes they did we're we're gonna go ahead and lock the announcer's booth until he's done dancing
home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And like a monkey trying to fuck a grease football, he gets away in a hurry. And it's first and ten. on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit... The bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays! Talk about luck! First and ten. And he just wrestles away from that tackle. And he held on to that one for a first down. Oh, my God, a man from prison just came out of the field. That's the ref, you idiot. Let's see what the penalty is. Smart move there as they call a timeout trying to get the ball back for another shot. Second down and long. And I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just, you just throw it to the guy. Oh, nice hit. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. And he punched his way out of that, and he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can say that, Grim. And it's first and ten. They stopped the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Ah, that's okay, Grim. They can have nine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when he was in school. Yeah, they play so much. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Crusher right there. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the NFL. And it's first and ten.
why go for one when you could go for two? It's always been my philosophy. But Bricks can't even get one. Oh, we're talking about points. Whoa, hold everything. Looks like there's a penalty on the play. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. <laughs> the offense changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry up? Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. Oh, and he just left his outline on the ground. He was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten. And like bricks his bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Thread. And the Los Angeles folks take the win today. Folks, this wasn't even close. It was a total shellacking, like watching a knife cut through butter. More like an axe through butter, Grim. More like a chainsaw through baby shit, because that pretty much describes what we just saw. And the MVP of today's game is just about to speak. As soon as he gets his jaw back in place. Nope, oh, there he's got it now. Yep. Hey man, nobody can touch you when I ball. I take all your mutants out. That's right. Hey. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. Making it right every up.